I've mentioned before, as humans, we get to pick our own coordinate system. Commonly, we've always picked that the coordinate system looks something like this, right? With x to the right and y being up. But let me tell you that we can pick other components if it describes our problem in a more simplistic manner. For example, I have curvilinear motion here, so this particle is just moving along this curve. And we can break down this motion into the motion that is tangent to the curve, right? So something like this would be the tangential direction. And then 90 degrees from that would be the normal direction. So something like this, the normal direction. All right, and we can write the components of that particle as, as both in the tangential and normal direction. So with that, we have our velocity, our velocity here is equal to just some magnitude of the velocity times the unit vector in the tangential direction. So we're talking something like this, right? There's a velocity vector here and that's the velocity of the particle now if we solve for the acceleration vector we have components both in the tangential direction and in the normal direction now you may ask why we have a unit in the normal direction since our velocity is completely in tangential direction since we're changing our, the course of our path in a curve, we're going to have something in the normal direction. There needs to be an acceleration that turns our path in a curvilinear manner. So what do these values equal? Well, the acceleration in the tangential direction is nothing more than V dot, or the derivative of the velocity with respect to time, okay? So we can find the tangential component uh, to the acceleration that way. The normal acceleration component is equal to V squared over rho. Okay, V squared over rho. And maybe you've encountered this when you're talking about centripetal acceleration. This is the centripetal acceleration formula. Okay, so the velocity squared over rho. So what is rho? Well, along this curved path here, it has a center of curvature. And the center of curvature at this instant may be here, all right? And the distance from the center of curvature to the particle, this distance here, is known as rho, okay? So that is the distance rho along the normal direction. So having these two, uh, just given the velocity, we can figure out the tangential acceleration and the normal acceleration.